Hi, Rebecca Frazier here, looking at this home on the southwest corner of Bend. Large lot, close to the old mill, three bedroom, one bath, come inside with me. So this cute little single story, off Brookswood, large lot. All of this is part of the lot. So at some point you could extend the parking here, depending on the setbacks, you could add, you know, an ADU of some type. Siding looks good, paint looks good. So this roundabout right here is Brookswood. That means this house is about, you know, 10, 15 minute bike ride to the old mill, concerts, festivals, really beautiful trees. Okay, let's take a quick look around the house and then we'll go inside. It's a really nice lot. Just a few minutes ago, there was actually a herd of deer out here. So all of this is part of the lot. I'll attach a picture of the lot lines as well. So you don't have a garage, but you do have a carport. Obviously, if you really wanted a garage, you have plenty of space to add one if that was, you know, a need. But it's well built. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, so we have hot, hot water heater, wash machine and dryer. Obviously, you know, you could actually add, you know, a proper door here if you wanted to. New flooring. Really nice room. These windows are really large. So you do have Brookswood on the other side, but this is a rock wall, which actually gives you the illusion of a decent amount of privacy. So we have some nice mini splits. Nice island. You have a two-tone cabinet. So island is like this gray. These countertops are, you know, they are new, so they look they, they look and feel nice, but they are just like a renter grade countertop. Um, you do have a nice backsplash. slow co closing cabinets. This floor too, I do like this floor. It's, um, I don't know what it, you know, what the name of this floor is, but it looks like some type of darker oak. It has some two-tone going on in it. it has a nice texture um, to the eye and it feels good. Once again, large windows. I don't know if you can see, but there's actually some planner boxes over there along with some right there. This isn't fenced, but you know, you could fence it. So this is three bedroom, two bathrooms. So we have an L-shaped hallway here. The bathroom has been updated. You have a nice, you know, it's only one bathroom, but it is a nice size would be fine as, you know, a rental. So this is the first of three bedrooms and I will say this room is very, it is a small room. I would say the best use of this is maybe to do some built-in bunk beds right here. Um, Cause it is, it is a tight, it is a tight space. So this is facing out towards the front of the property. Okay, down the rest of the hallway, we have storage on the right-hand side, which is nice that it's built in. This is the, the second bedroom. This is a larger bedroom. You could fit a queen size in here, no problem. You could fit a king, but it would be tight. But you know, in terms of just a rental, it would, you know, it'd be, it would be it would fit what you would need. 
This is the master. So you have a nice large closet. Which is good. And this room would definitely fit a king size bed. So it's a large space. You know, this is a huge window. You could easily put um, a slider in this space or, you know, some type of door to get to the patio if needed, because this is a really large window, which is great. So let's go look outside. You know, newly painted walls, new flooring, new appliances, no AC, but they have the mini splits, which are new. So those work just great. They do have these in the window lines, which I love those. So on the other side of this rock wall is Brookswood. But it's not too bad. I think the speed limit's like 35 or so. And so it's not a, you know, fast moving road. Really beautiful trees. Like I said, there was just a herd of deer out here earlier. I scared them off by accident, but that's always nice to see. This is the corner of the property. This is actually a dead end road. So this is a dead end road. The driveway is right there. So it is, you know, it is a really nice lot. 